Oh, what the heck is that? That's literally my point, too. Okay, so we just found this little wedding top statue. Look, she even has the veil and everything on her. Blank 2277. They're next fill in the blank detective. Yo, what the heck is that? There's something hanging in the tree right there. Just found this hanging in a tree, guys. So we just found this right now, kind of up in the tree. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's something right there. <sighs> okay, so I just found this right now, guys. <sighs> you may not find things all in place. Friend, when you enter here, you can just see mist. Mist coming from the other side. And it's over here. That's a big cave. Oh, hold on. There's something right there. What is that? It says Michelangelo David. Welcome back to this next exciting adventure of Rananautica. So I'm in Skinwalker territory. Um, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go down. So we have coordinates, we're gonna set them. However, there might be caves that are completely inaccessible or maybe all the caves in general might be inaccessible because of how dangerous it is with ice, snow, slush, mud, all that stuff. It's, it's a really bad time of the year. However, we're gonna do what we can and see where we can get. Um, I have your first coordinate set, so let's get this party started. So I've also got merch. I'll drop that down right here for you. Um, so the orders are being shipped out March 1st, and we might have the store go again for another month. I bought that new bracket for my camera, so there should be less wobble and tension and all that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> it's actually working really, really well. It's all metal because my last one was plastic. So I'm just loving it. It's actually a lot lighter too because it was weighing down my camera. So yeah, got a little upgrade. Thanks to you subscribers, all the money that I've made just to get like little things that help me do my job better. It's great. Sorry guys, I'm actually just trying to put my umbrella away. I'm always juggling with a couple hands because I carry too much crap. <laughs> ah, wait a sec. Hold on here. All right, there we go. I look like the penguin from Batman because I have a I'm walking with an umbrella like a cane. Make sure that my shoes are still tied up. Okay. Today was a bit frustrating today. Um, I was trying to film other locations as well and it's just way too muddy and mucky. It's gonna be like that today. It was also calling for rain today and it rained all the way up here. But when I got here, um, it does look pretty clear right now. So I don't know, maybe luck will be on my side and. I'll be able to get this done and find some cool stuff for y'all. There's nobody here too. I'm the only one parked in the lot, so I got very lucky. All right. Following the old trail. The big Deadwood mystery. So, I'm not really very familiar with Skinwalkers, so you guys will have to fill, fill me in in the comment section below. Are they folklore beliefs? Are they um, native uh, native beliefs? I don't know. I've heard of Wendigo, but I've heard that they're completely different creatures. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I've always wanted to probably not spot skinwalkers because I know they hunt humans and stuff and they will eat you, but I've always wanted to spot like 
Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch, kind of stuff like that. I've always been a fan of those guys, those creatures. But I've never, I've never encountered one personally. Not myself, no. All right. Up on this hill. I've done a lot of walking today, had a lot of misses, so I really hope that we do find some things today for y'all. Because I really would like to see something cool. A lot of trees here. The autofocus will go out of whack. You will get camera wobble today, and I'm only warning you that right now because of how muddy, mucky, and bad the train is today. It is not summer, or like it's not fully spring yet either. So we have mud, muck, slush, ice, you name it. <laughs> Everything bad, we have it. <laughs> At this time of the year, that's why it sucks. And that's why a lot of us, you'll he, like, we get the sniffles, all that kind of stuff. It's because our weather is no good. Okay, let me see here. I think this one wants me to go. Yeah, I think this point wants me to go left. Oh, wow. Look at that view, guys. We're way up high right now. Some nice fields. Everything going forward. That's cool. Oh, I think I'll take this way. Less puddles, less uh, annoying annoyances. So it actually leads back to the same trail. Oh yeah, what the heck is that? There's something there on the... Oh, it looks like something... Somebody left something on a bench. It's funny because my point's way out that way. Oh wow, another view. We'll have a look at that. Somebody, somebody left something on this bench. In loving memory of James Griffin. There's a cat. What does this say? PG. There's nothing inside of it. Just found that cat there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if somebody just left that there. For fun or what? That's a little while. Look at that. Another big view. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're way up high. I always get nervous coming to places like this. And it's because of, you hear all the creatures, like, if, I don't know if you've seen that, uh, there's a video game called Until Dawn and stuff like that. That was Wendigo, so, like, I know there's areas for that. I don't know much about skinwalkers. I've heard little stories and stuff like that, as, like, as I said, you guys will have to tell me more about it. But I try to find areas and do a creature feature now and then, because you never know what you might find or see, right? Things have been better been putting on weight things are cool been eating a lot holy crap just so much scenery up here it actually so today will look like a fall day so we got that happening i don't even think i can go down there that is all i would check out more uh parts just for fun but i think just i want to go to the point get to the first point see what we get I laugh though, we get a lot of comments that are a little wild. Like, oh, look at all these footsteps. And it's like, well, yeah, a lot of these trails that we go to are conservation areas, Bruce Trail. Many people use these trails during the day. You're going to see hundreds of footsteps <laughs> everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go, you're going to see footsteps. <laughs> but we do try to find the stalker footsteps because we know that 
obviously somebody's rigging the game and there's stuff that's being set set up for us right so that's always been a thing wow it's actually not too bad I really thought today was going to be torrential uh, downpour and then you guys wouldn't have saw anything. Darn, I have a feeling that I'm on the wrong... Okay, let me just check my phone here. Yeah, like... Maybe that trail that was buried in snow was the one I was supposed to hit? Okay, I'm gonna be careful going across here though. Yeah, like, look at that. Okay, let's go down here. That was really odd. And look, see how mucky that is? It's really, really muddy here. Just be careful. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? That's literally my point, too. Okay, that's a little wild. What is this? I'm just gonna sit this down for now. Okay, so we just found this little wedding top statue. Look, she even has the veil and everything on her. Anything written on it? Oh, yo. Okay, what is this? 2277. Wait, no, it says blank. Blank 2277. They're next fill in the blank detective. Oh, that's just great. Uh, why do I get the feeling that I'm being followed again? Or led. This could have been lying here for like time though, that's the thing. So it's really hard to say. All right guys, I think I'm gonna set my next intent. I just feel like I'm being followed again. Otherwise somebody was already here. That's been a thing too, Angelo's told me a lot of times. It can be they were already here, they already did everything and then they took off. And a lot of times they're either messing with us or they're trying to mess with our heads, get to us. But yeah, I think we're going to go to our next point, guys, and check that out. So i got to get back up here. Actually, I think I can cut across to the main trail from here. Because, I mean, it is down this way, but this is all covered in snow. So I don't really want to go down that. Okay, let's go up here. Let's go, let's go. All right, back to the main trail. I got a bit of a wind today. I got the wind muffs on the camera though, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing too much, uh, too much wind hitting the mics. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this bracket. There's literally no wobble. It's literally just, I'm only holding the camera with one hand. It's only crappy part. I had to bring an umbrella. Betty's mom's like, bring an umbrella. Because, um, yeah, we were calling for bad storms today. A lot of times you guys are like, oh, when's the next video? And we do postpone because bad weather and obviously the, uh, sorry about that. My camera was zoomed all the way in. <laughs> bad weather and everything is just, uh, messy and mucky and things like that. It's really not good with camera. I have heard of raincoats for cameras. I, I can't do it because it's like, it literally covers everything. I think those are mainly for photography. 
because for film you wouldn't do it it literally covers everything and you can't even hold or grip your camera very properly so we do try to we really 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 just try to find the best uh, the best days weather wise and go out those times because like even Angelo will cancel and say hey we got to postpone this date because of weather it happens there's really nothing you can do about it Yeah, look at that. That whole trail, that's a trail. Literally buried in snow. And that's why I'm saying that maybe some of the caves we can't do because look at this. I don't know how deep this is and not only that, you get stuck in there, you're dead. <laughs> so I can't mess with uh, stuff like that, guys. Hoping to get to Betty at a decent time today. Hopefully to get out of here before the darkness hits. That would be nice. Because it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Me and Betty, we used to, uh, we used to always go to this one joint uh, in, in Canada, Ontario. So it's like, I think it's called Guac Mexi Grill. And my favorite is Mexican cuisine. So that being said, we always go to Taco Tuesday and that's our thing. Oh wow, look at the views out there. There's like some big cliff out there. I'm just gonna see if there's another view back here. I'm seeing a lot of things. Oh wow, look at that cliff. So there's a lot of cliffs and caverns and things like that, but the caves are, uh, are the special part. Oh boy, what a day, what a day. down the old trail guys I've been seeing a lot of mist too and the mist is coming from the caves oh wait okay we're coming up to our next point now I did see some mist this way yeah, it says that it's like right here you have arrived so I guess that it's like this view Wow, that's beautiful though. Let's see if we can get the sky. It's awesome. Yo, what the heck is that? There's something hanging in the tree right there. How the heck did they even get it up there? Yeah, look at that. There's like some sort of necklace or something hanging up in the tree. I don't know if I can boom it up with my light. Yeah, like there's a there's a freaking necklace there, guys. Hold on, maybe I can reach it with this thing. We can have a look. Maybe we found some treasure. Ha! I wish, eh? Holy smokes! I think that was just a raven. Yeah, but there's something in this tree. Okay. Holy mackerel. Okay, easy does it. What is this? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my God. Even last video we found some, found some treasure. Maybe not, maybe not worth a lot of money, but we found a, I found a amethyst. She carved his diamond. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it out of my uh, umbrella here. What is this? Some sort of, uh, let's see. Sorry, it's all tangled up right now. It's some sort of necklace. Okay, so we just found this right now. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Focus! Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So we just found this hanging in a tree, guys. 
I don't know if those are diamonds or if this is just cheap jewelry, but it looks kind of cool. So we just found that right now. Well, I'm on some sort of trail today, so I think we might as well keep the party keep the party going and keep looking for stuff. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I don't know, like, I'm not sure if anybody's gone missing here. Um, just the legends say that the caves uh, are skinwalker territory and stuff. I drove a long time to get up here, so I hope you guys can appreciate this video and also the, probably the dangers that are involved in it. But anyways, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head up the trail. I'm going to adjust this light because it's way too bright. Come on, Brad. Oh, that's better. Blinding myself here. But yeah, I think what we're going to do is we'll set the next intent. Go on up ahead, see what uh, see what this one unfolds, and see what we get. All right, guys. So we'll go check that out. I heard sounds up this way, but I think it was just some sort of animal or bird or creep. Like that's a crow. That's a raven. So I heard that. Yeah, I think I'm just hearing ravens right now. All right, guys, we're going to go on up ahead, and we'll check uh, your next intent. Skinwalker Caves. I really don't know about being in caves today. Like, even if it's, uh, you know, even if it is doable, because I don't know what's in them. <laughs> and it's kind of creepy. Yo, there's something on that tree. That could be a marker. I know my point is down this way. But I kind of want to see what this is. It looks like some sort of... Uh, thing is stuck to the... What is that? Is that just a marker? Oh, yo, that's super cool. Okay. Let's see here. Get the light on here so we can see it. Yeah, look at that. It's like a tree frog. So we just found this right now, kind of up in the tree. That's kind of cool. Maybe there's some more, um, maybe there's possibly some more um, art stuff kind of in the trees. That's neat. So we just found that right now. I kind of want to see more of those. I'm seeing these too, look. It's telling you what kind of trees these are. American beech. Beech nuts are an important food for many birds and mammals. The tree is known its gray bark, which is very smooth. It grows best in alluvial bottomlands on cool, moist, but well-drained soils. So there's markers on trees telling you what kind of trees they are. So that's kind of cool. It's funny though, um, of all the treasure that I find, it's not really valuable. I have not found like struck gold or platinum or anything like that but I like uh, rock collecting so I mean even if I find jewelry and it's quartz or something like that I think it's still cool I did check out those diamonds because like I know a lot of people think either like oh that's just fake it could be just glass those were amethyst so I got lucky there I did say what it was amethyst Okay, I heard that. I don't know what that was. Oh, wow. But we are coming up to the next point. I heard that sound come from over here, which is really, really wild. Look at how steep that is. I kind of want to just go back here for a moment because we're seeing what looks like cave territory. Because I might want to do a little bit of exploring with not just the rando itself, you know? Okay, so let's just go back here. See if we struck some caves or... If not, that's fine. Oh, what's over here? Be careful, Brad. Oh, that's all bottomed in. So, like, that's all buried. We can't go in there. Oh boy, I'm glad there's my favorite drink. It's called BioSteel. And it's funny because my uh, 
my ND, my naturopath doctor, they, they drink it. They love the stuff. And it does work. It keeps you hydrated. It is awesome. Yeah, like, I'm just having the feeling that I took the wrong turn. You can see the mist coming up, though. I'm seeing that right now. What's up here? Yeah, some more cliffs. I have had issues with this before. With my... Uh, GPS because sometimes it'll stall and then all of a sudden you think you're on a point and you're really You're really not it's not adjusting and stuff because it's the GPS navigation system, right? So I'm just hoping I'm not losing uh, Fingers crossed I'm not losing data Wi-Fi all that jazz doing this But I'm going up to where it's where it says it's at, so. Hopefully it leads us to something. Found a cat, and then another one of them uh, bride and groom uh, thingies. Pretty sure you put those on wedding cakes. I really don't know a whole lot about these brothers besides the stuff that I've found. And I keep getting little trinkets here and there. And I really don't know how to put it all together. Like I just, I have to go with the flow and, and hopefully the police catch them. That's all I can say. There's really not much I can do. I've tried to do my best but I'm just one guy. And with Chris being afraid of them as well, probably more so than I. Cause yeah, he was pretty upset that last time when I brought him to that trailer park and then we were cornered, he wasn't happy. I don't want to lose friends over bringing them to dangerous places and then they encounter something that they shouldn't have. So putting my friends in danger that's not really smart. Of course you want to go with the buddy, but I'd rather go with somebody that's really experienced in the field like Angelo, who's not afraid of danger and all that. People that are not uh, accustomed to danger, that is, uh, yeah, that's something. So like, you don't wanna, you don't wanna be part of that. Going down the trail, guys. This point's a little further out. But as you guys can see, this is a beautiful forest. Like I said, it would look like a fall. Looks kind of like a fall day. What is up ahead? It looks like we're coming to some sort of cliff edge. We're gonna have to be careful. <sighs> it's funny, people be scared about the ultimate danger of their being. You know, like Skinwalker, Wendigo, in these territories here. I am just scared of freaking coyotes. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, come on, I, I would be scared of seeing one of the, such a creature. I mean, if they are out there. Okay, this point is really near. I'm a little worried about this because this does look like some sort of cave or cliff or, holy mackerel, the point is down there. Wow. Yeah, like look at as you guys can see.
We are on a cliff's edge. Oh my god. Yeah, this is it, guys. Yeah, look at that. Whew. Okay, well. My first point is, uh, is down on the left-hand side. The next point, so I guess we're going to go check it out. I'm seeing mist down there too. Look at all the mist. I'm just gonna be have. To, I'm gonna be careful because I have no idea what's down here. So I might have to use my umbrella just for climbing. All right, here we go. Next point. <laughs> Hope I don't die. I really hope Betty doesn't see this video. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> People say I'm crazy. Oh my god, I just fell. I think I'm alright though. Ow! Ugh. I can't go back that way. I can't go back that way. Ah! ah. Okay. Ah! Oh. 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 I did fall. I don't know how bad my leg is. I, I hit something. My leg feels alright. I hit my arm more than anything, but I feel okay. I can move it. I took some mud patch there. Oh my gosh. Okay, on to the point. I did fall. I felt like I hit hard, but I don't feel like that injured. My leg hurts, but not a whole lot. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of shock right now. I fell from up here. Okay, where is that umbrella though? I think the jeans saved me. Okay, I think my umbrella's up there. I kind of want to grab it. <sighs> oh my god, no, I'm not grabbing it. I'm not grabbing it. I can't go back up. This isn't gonna happen. Okay. Whew. I'm in uncharted territory right now. Ow, ow. I hit my knee. Oh, what's that? Okay. This does look like the Skinwalker territory though, that's for sure. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Where am I? Oh! Ow! Yeah, that's what I'm saying guys. See how dangerous this is? There's ice everywhere. Oh, oh wow, there's mist coming out of here. Okay, my hand's not cut. Ah, I was looking for open wounds. Holy mackerel. Hey, I definitely don't show this video to my wife. There is too much ice, but as you guys can see, like look at that. Holy mackerel. I cannot go that way to explore. My point is down there. I don't know if it's safe up here, guys. There's way too much ice. I could smack my head. I can't go back up that way. I'm gonna have to find a way down. Ow! Uh, yeah, I kinda, I felt my leg hit here. Looks okay, that's all ice. Oh boy, that's all ice, come on. Doesn't matter how experienced you are with climbing and things like that. You don't know how dangerous this is. Nobody should be doing this. Nobody. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ow. 
Yeah, my leg does hurt. I might only be able to set a few more intense after this. I mean, a couple. One or a couple. I did hurt my leg. I'm going to have to go check that out soon. But I need to get out of here first. Okay. Ow. Ouch. Yeah, my leg hurts. I just hope I didn't break anything. Wow. Is that another cave? Holy mackerel. Look at that. Oh! Whoa! That just snapped in half. Yeah, there's a cave there. That's small though. Oh, holy mackerel. This place is majestic. It is beautiful, but I mean, ow! Ooh! Okay, here we go. Oh boy. It says it's way down here. Oh, holy mackerel. Ow! Ow! Okay. Okay, it is thick. Thank God. Thank God it's thick. Oh. Uh. Ow. Oh, boy. I'm seeing mist everywhere. There's mist coming from that cave. So I don't really know what's in there exactly. I thought that I hurt my arm worse, but my arm seems to be okay. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to take a break after this and check my leg to see if it's not broken. I hit pretty hard. Thank goodness I had my jeans on if I was wearing shorts and it was summertime. I don't know how bad that was. Okay. This place is really wild. It's majestic, that's for sure. This place has my points like up here. Oh, yo, there's something right there. The camera shut off when I fell. What the heck is this? Okay, so I just found this right now, guys. Looks like a little book. This is a home where my children live. You may not find things all in place, friend when you enter here but we're a home where children live we hold them very dear and you may find small fingerprints and smudges on the wall when the kids are gone we'll clean them up right now we're playing ball for there's one thing of which we're sure these children are on loan one day they're always finding they're always underfoot Next thing you know, they're gone. That's when we'll have a well-kept house. When they're off in their own, on their own. Right now, this is where the children live. A loved and lived in home. Judith Bond. Can you change the pages? Oh, they're all glued together. That's wild. It's like a book that's glued together just on this page. That is really strange. I can't believe I found this down here. I didn't even think I was gonna make it. Like, holy crap. Oh my God. And I have to check my leg. Like, I don't know what happened, but I took a hell of a fall. The camera, and that's what happens too with my camera. You'll notice it'll just, it'll just cut record. 
I really hope that I didn't do any damage to the camera too during that fall. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna set like one or two more and I'll have to go guys, cause I kinda hurt my leg. Listen to that. That's wild. You can just see mist. Mist coming from the other side. So I don't know if that's the caves or what that is. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do, we'll set your next intent, press on. I'm gonna go up, it looks like I can get up this way. So that's all right. Looks like an easy way to get up. But yeah, I don't know, this place has some, some sort of energy about it. Like it feels different down here. The air feels different down here. I haven't seen any creatures. I was hearing birds or something like that up the way, but yeah, that's all I could think. I think set like maybe one more, one or two more. I, I don't want to keep pushing, especially if my leg is, uh, is really injured. All right, guys, see you soon. All right, all right, from climbing up, I have to get back to the trail. First, before we even pursue this point, like, it led me to, uh, yeah, it led me off trail. So we gotta get back to the main. Oh my God. Cause I don't know what parts I'm gonna sink in or, or whichever, cause I don't wanna get hurt, so. All right. It's funny too, cause my camera wasn't rolling and I saw a huge fox run by. I would have loved to capture him on film. That would have been beautiful. I would love to get more geocaches too. That's another thing that I've been aching to find unintentionally, cause that was really, really wild. I, I've never ge geocached before. I still want to try. Hands okay. Legs got a few cuts and scrapes. It's funny because I don't think my camera caught the fall, but I was up on top and I literally fell right off this cliff. I'm really lucky to be alive right now. I really am. My legs mucked up and my right arm is okay. It's funny because I hit my right arm harder. So I don't understand why my leg is all out of it, but I'm a little bit dizzy, so I have to be careful. All right, continue on to this point. Oh boy, very, very lucky to be alive. Yeah, I think this is the last time I come here in uh, winter, icy, you know, just bad wet. It's too icy. I literally could have died. If that, if that cliff was any, like, if it was any bigger, bigger of a fall, I would have been dead. This place is majestic though. There's some sort of aura about it and I don't really know what that book was all about that was weird imagine finding an ancient civilization though like something that's maybe wasn't meant to be found right like that would be really wild oh boy I really wish I could have caught that that fox on camera. He went this way. When I looked up, he, he was running one way. Big, big bushy tail. Beautiful fox. I love nature. I, I would love to capture animals like that on film. I just think it's amazing. All right, it's coming up to this point now. Oh boy. Okay, so it's back here. So this is kind of the same area I was, only I was way down in the trench there. But as you guys can see, I don't want to get too close to the edge because I did fall. Like, look at all that. I don't know about going down there if it's if it's wanting me to because I don't want to. I don't want to die. Like that is very very dangerous. But we are in the territory. Holy smokes, it does. Okay, so it wants me to cross. I just, I don't know about this, guys. 
I'm gonna get my other light out, my O light. The trusty O light out, just see what's up. Come on. I'm gonna have to see each way. <laughs> I really don't know about this. I might even need both hands, we'll see. Ouch. Yeah, as you guys can see, like, that's a whole cave system down there. I think this is one for either me and Angelo or somebody, you know. So my point saying that it's over here. That's a big cave. Oh, hold on. There's something right there. What the heck is that? There's literally something on that rock right there. I'm about to go check that out. Oh, my man. What was that? I just heard something, too. Okay, I think I can jump to this rock here. Don't ever try this stuff. I, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have come here today. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, look at that. I'm literally on cliff edges right now, guys. Like, this is absolutely insane. Okay, I think if I shimmy down this way, maybe I can find out what this is. Oh my god. It's like that movie 24. Like, this is pretty dangerous stuff. Okay, that is all ice. Okay, foot there. Okay, okay. What is this? There's some sort of statue. Okay, so we just found this right now, guys. Get all the dirt off my hands so I can actually touch the screen. Yeah, so we just found this right now. What is that? So we found this statue. It says Michelangelo David. Okay. So we just found that there right now. That's insane. I don't think I've any I've seen anything like this before. It makes me think of that movie Prometheus, though. Maybe that's the same statue that uh, David was named after? That's wild. Okay. Put you back, buddy. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, I think there's some cave system down there, but... I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's worth, uh... I don't think it's worth my life trying to get down in there. Not today. We're gonna have to come back here though. That's a thing. So whatever I don't do today, I can come back probably in the summer when things are safe. It's this ice. And there's hidden ice even beneath these leaves and things like that. And that's kind of what I slipped and fell off the cliff with. I can't even believe, like, I don't, I, like, I have to roll this camera back. I was trying to look at it while I was here. Um... Yeah, for some reason, if I fall injured, like I, this camera just goes out of whack. It just really, it just stops recording. So I can't believe that it caught that on. It's just something in my hair. It's just a leaf or something. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do, guys, I think we're just gonna set one last one, one last one, and get out of here today. Uh, it's been a bit of a stressful day for me. We had a lot of duds, a lot of issues and stuff like that. I, I fell and hurt myself, so I don't want to be here too long. And it's Taco Tuesday. I gotta get back for Taco Tuesday, mates. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, so we're on the very, very last point. Oh, my leg hurts really, really bad. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going home tonight. So on forward, we'll see what else we find. Really, really strange, unusual things. One of them, I think, pertains to this a shadow in plain sight person, but I can't be for sure. Like, this could be anything. But since it addressed detective, which we kept hearing several times before, I don't know, I don't know how to explain everything else I found. It's just very bizarre. But this forest does have some sort of presence about it, so. Oh boy. 
This is a beautiful forest for sure. Holy crap, there's another one. Okay, so we just found another one. That's got a woodpecker. And that's wild because this is a uh, woodpecker uh, territory. Like they do live out in these forests. Uh. Two allergy puffers and still does nothing. <laughs> It's, I don't think it's allergies though. I think it's just cold weather that I've been having issues with. Doesn't, nothing seems to stop it. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so we're going down here. Oh, that's a strange rock. It almost looks like it's painted. What is that? It's like a fake rock or is it real? Oh, she's heavy. Yeah, that's down. That's a real rock. I thought it was something. I thought it was fake. Like, I thought there could be something, uh, something underneath there. Yeah. So I was a little bit bummed. I wanted to access certain caves and things like that, just to explore them be part of the hike but it's way too dangerous and after that fall I'm literally covered in crap like I don't know if you see my legs <laughs> just dirty like I got mud and stuff everywhere my whole jacket is ruined so it just ain't worth it, it ain't worth my life I didn't realize how dangerous ice is and today I really did ice is hidden there's black ice like and it's not all melted yet I literally thought because we've been getting warmer weather we've been getting warmer weather guys and it's I really thought that that would have helped so obviously it hasn't oh boy I think my favorite thing was finding that book I thought that was really really wild Wild and interesting. I found that book. I couldn't flip through the pages. It was all stuck together, but... You know. You know how it is. We find what we find. Whether we can put it together in the long run, who knows. But we do what we can. Gonna have to pick up more... Uh, Canon, Canon batteries for this thing because my main battery is starting to lose its funk and these batteries are supposed to last a long long time the ones that come with I want to thank everybody who has uh, donated to the channel it has helped us a lot helped me get uh, equipment, batteries uh, food for the road, gas for the trips, it has done a lot. Now I'm thinking about getting a new camera. Not a very, very expensive camera. Before I was thinking of getting something like Angela, but I don't like heavy. And these cameras that are really, really heavy, that does not help me because of the type of exploring I do. I'm an outdoor explorer at heart, and I need something light. So I saw that Sony ZV-1 has made a second so I guess I don't know if it's Sony ZV-2 or but it, they made a second version of the Sony ZV-1 and it is awesome It can auto trace. It's got really good AI so it can auto trace like Two objects at once people it's got a built-in gimbal. So that's kind of what I'm saving uh, Your donations for next guys Okay, so it says that my, oh, check the phone. Okay, so it says that my next point is on the left, but that can't be right because there's literally a cliff's edge here. So we'll see. But I want to come check out this tree for a minute here. What is this? Look at this thing. God makes trees very, very funky. But you know what? That's that's his thing. Really, really wild. So we just see that right now. But yeah, my point says that it's over here on the left. 
hopefully we don't end on a dud, guys. But, I mean, with some of the luck that I've been having, we've been able to find some things. <sighs> yeah, it's a cliff edge. Like, I don't see anything here. The point says that it's down here on the right. And there is ground down there. I like that. It's not that high up. Okay, I'm gonna try this, but like I said, if I feel like I'm getting it at all slippy, I'm going back. Okay, I'm sitting down here. I always wear jeans, I don't care that I'm gonna get muddy too, that's a big thing with me. Okay, we're here. This isn't that far, but as you guys can see, it can be dangerous. Okay, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Let's see, there's a brick. What the hell is a brick just chilling here? Yeah, there's just a piece of rock right there. Hello? Okay. Ah! Oh. Look at that. Birch tree peeling off right pa like paper. Okay, let's get down here. Ugh. So my point says that it's up this way. I thought I was hearing sounds on that other side, but I could be wrong. Maybe I won't pull out the old light. I need both hands right now. So I think I'm just gonna climb. Let's see if I can do up that puck. No, I can't. Oh boy. That is ice right there. I'm gonna have to stand here because there's no ice there. Okay, okay, Brad. Point says that it's straight ahead. What the hell's that? Now, did somebody leave a pizza here? Somebody leave a pizza? Looks like a pizza box. <laughs> did Random Nautica lead me to uh, someone's hot, hot and ready? <laughs> oh boy. What is this? Holy smokes. Okay. It's inside this little cave here. The Edward Knowles China craftsmanship. Okay, what is this? Let's get this out and have a look. I'll look it up here because it's more safe. I want to fall. What is this? Okay. Oh, holy smokes. More clown crap. I hate this crap, man. So we just found this right now. Raining in the box. Okay, so we just found this right now in this cave. Oh my god, really? Are you kidding me? This is fortune. Bunch of zodiac symbols. Some of them are smudged off. What does this say though? It says Tommy the Clown by John McKellen, plate number. Kellen's Children's Circus Collection. Okay. Fortune. What do you got for me now? I've been finding fortune cookies constantly. This has been an ongoing thing that they've been leaving me. And I won't be able to open that with one hand. There's no way. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to have a look at what's going on here. Come on. Pivot. Pivot! Ross would say, friends. Yeah, it does not want to stay. I don't know why. Is it gonna stay? Stay, stay. Good boy, good boy. So this was already cracked and crushed. What is this?
Okay, look at this. This is bizarre. And this is what I'm talking about. I've been getting some really, really weird ones. So this says, your mind is precise and discriminating. I don't know if this is focusing. I'm trying to get it to focus here. Hold on. So there you go. Your mind is precise and discriminating, and then there's a ton of numbers here. And on the back, there's French. So I've been getting a lot of weird, weird things lately. I don't know anything about Zodiac stuff. Um, from all I know is it has somewhat to do with astrology. And um, I'm guessing it is something that's over in Asia areas. Like, I don't know if it has anything to do with religious beliefs or not. I know that this year is the Chinese New Year. And, like, it's a big, big thing. So I don't know what this guy, these killers are trying to tell us or anything like that. Or if this is even them. I'm pretty sure it's them. Because there's the symbol right there. We have the target on the top and the O of the fortune. I've been finding some really, really weird stuff. It's literally, I don't know. I find it mind-boggling. Because I would rather rand and not and find just simple, cool things. Like the gems from last video. We did find a necklace in the tree. Sometimes I'm a little bit disturbed because I'm like, okay, well, why are we finding women's clothing, necklaces, luggage, uh, things just tossed around? I don't really know. I don't really know why we keep finding the things we, we do, but we just have to roll with it and kind of go, you know, go with the punches. But I think what we're going to do, guys, is I think what we'll do is we'll walk up the trail a bit, see if we see anything else. I'm not gonna run a point this time. I'm turning the app off. Because the last thing I want is somebody to start stalking me out here. Because it is way too dangerous. Like I literally just fell off a, fell off a cliff. So I don't want that to happen. So I think we'll walk up the trail, see if we see anything. If not, we're gonna head back. Because I would like to get home to the wifey, have Taco Tuesday, that's a thing for me. All right guys? Listening to a lot of wind up here now. Hopefully you guys can hear okay. I have installed wind muffs. So hopefully they do their job and their part in stopping the wind. But yeah, I just kind of want to go up the way, see if we see anything else on this hike. So this is just the hiking of the video. <laughs> Sometimes we find something just hiking. Stuff just left around. Oh wow. Lots of cliffs there. I have to admit that David statue was really cool. Probably one of the coolest things I've found. This goes down that edge. I would have loved to show you guys a cave today. However, I just don't know how dangerous it is. And after that one fall, I'm kind of like over it. But I'll have a look and see what's over here. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh wow, look at that. I think I can just get on here have a look for you guys yeah lots of passageways this place is massive I don't know what all's here oh my gosh yeah that's just shallow there there's nothing in there ow I have to get rid of this backpack <laughs> this backpack's going in the garbage it keeps getting hooked on things and it's causing, can cause injury. I lost Betty's mom's umbrella too, so I have to go back for that. Lots of nature.
Oh wow, there's another view. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Way up high, on top of the world. This is where I'm standing now. I don't want to get any closer. Nothing but straight Canadian wilderness right there. That's a beautiful view. Really beautiful view. I hope I don't bump into those guys again. I don't like getting mistaken for this detective, that's for sure. I really think he was a private investigator because, I mean, there's so many Officer Phillips. Like, there, there's there's millions of them. So it's it's impossible to track down what this, who this, who this guy is. Like, what's his first name? What's his middle name? Last name? What's his number? Oh, wow, look at that. There's another one. And it says, Trembling Aspen. The name refers to the leaves of this tree which tremble in the slightest breeze. It can grow up to 70 feet tall and has whitish, smooth, thin bark. Twigs and foliage are eaten by deer, elk, moose, beaver, and other animals. Its wood is used for pulpwood, boxes, matches, and furniture parts. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna go up the way, see what else is out here. Whoa! More ice. <laughs> Yikes. But yeah, I think I'm happy with today. It's been hellish, but you know, we do what we can. It's this weather. I don't like this weather at all. I hate it. Like the ice and stuff like that is just a hazard. And the last thing you want to do is slip and like crack your head open. So uh, yeah, there's some stuff too. I might want to turn back soon just because of how it is today. I would like to get home at a decent hour if possible. But yeah, it looks like there's more caves and cliffs down there. With all this ice, I just don't feel it's necessary entering. Like, if you slip and crack your head open by yourself, you aren't coming back. So that's the last thing I need. I've got a family. And everybody I gotta support so oh wow there is something down there though let's just have a peek shall we we'll have a peek at what's going on down here oh man it's icy yeah they say that these aren't maintained either so Look at this, guys. Be nice if there was a cave that was easily accessible to people, but I don't know. Look at that. We're on the top of one right now. That's interesting. Let's get the Olight and just kind of have a peek. Okay, so I think that one just ends right there. So that's all for that. All right, so I'm gonna switch hands and the old light out because I'm just trying to see what what is out here. You can see the mist coming out. Look at that. I don't know if it's warm air or cool air, but there's definitely stuff going on. Yeah, look at that. Going down. So this is all skinwalker territory. You don't want to be caught dead out here at night. That's kind of why I tried to make the day trip. Yeah, beautiful sights anyway. 
guys can see it goes all the way down there. I don't even... Wow. Look at that tree. That's interesting. This place is beautiful. So we'll go up a little further, just for the little hike's sake. But I think I'm gonna get going home soon. As much as I love uh, hanging out with you guys and checking out these forests, I've been pretty exhausted, <laughs> rushing to get things done this month, so. But yeah, wow, beautiful place. Truly happy of this hike. Like this is, this is beautiful forest right here. This is all ancient. Some of this rock's been here for millions and millions of years. little bridge but it's all ice 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 baby yeah, look at that it goes all the way down there whoa yeah, there's more stuff there yeah so I don't want to get lost here guys I think I'm gonna turn back but I mean we saw some really cool stuff we found some things today I'm super happy about that. I haven't seen a woodpecker. I was hoping to see a fox. I didn't catch a, gl a glimpse of that fox like I had wanted to. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode for what it was. I did run some points. I was hoping to do a little bit more exploring today. But like I said, it took a long drive just to get out here. I do have to get home. I don't want to be out here at night because as you guys can see, it's starting to darken now. And I know with the amount of lights I have in the batteries, I want to be able to make it back to my car. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got a little bit of a hike out of it at the end. I hope you enjoyed the nature and the scenery. We do have merch. Dropping that right below for you guys once again. Um, yeah, as always, I love you. I love all you guys. The donations have been going to some good stuff. I've always getting stuff with... I always make sure to put that money on the side. So if you guys do give donations, I put it on the side and I make sure I get gear and things that are appropriate for the trip, um, you know, expenses and, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, I love you all. Be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We got more to come for you next time. All right.